From time to time, many of us have experienced the silence of God. Few people may think that God is not hearing our prayers. We may cry out to God, and there seems to be no answer, only to hear the words echo back without replay. In Psalms 22, we read, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me? So far from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer. Let's see the life of Job. In some point, several thoughts came into his mind. In book of Job chapter 30 verses 20, Job says, I cry to you, O God, but you don't answer me. I stand before you and you don't bother to look. God who answer our prayers. Sometimes keep silence for certain prayers. We don't like the silence of God, but make sure that God's silence is not his rejection. A phrase says that speech is silver. Silence is gold. Through his silence, God is teaching us something. First, silence is not his absence. He is still on the throne. He is in control of everything. God told us in Psalms 46 verse 10. Stand silent. Know that I am God. In front of God's silence. We also need to keep silence and wait for the Lord. We read in Psalm 62. I stand silently before the Lord, waiting for him to rescue me. For salvation comes from him alone. Yes, he alone is my rock, my rescuer, defense and fortress. Why then should I be tense with fear when troubles come? Strive to feel God's eternal love towards us, at time of his silence. Second, silence tests our faith. When we teach our children to walk, we usually hold their hands. Occasionally we withdraw their hands. And we allow them to walk alone. It doesn't mean that we are away from them. But we are preparing them to walk in our presence. In the same way, God also preparing us to be strong in our faith. With his silences, God makes the faith and hope of his own people grows. He makes them new. And with them he makes all things new. We love a God who is talking for us. We should also love a God who is silent before us. God's silence is a blessing than man's speech. Have a blessed day.